if you haven't heard this recently, then you're completely out of the blue. And the reason why I say that is because, well, Go Governor Charlie Baker is endorsing Susan Collins. For a re-election. And people are very, very, very mad about this. I mean, it's kind of understandable that people have the right to be very, very, very mad at Governor Charlie Baker for endorsing Susan Collins. I mean, yes. I do be mad, too, about that. But here's the thing. She is from Maine. So, she wouldn't be re, be re-elected here in Massachusetts. The only issue I have a problem is the fact that there's an ad about it. I'm a lifelong Democrat, but I'm supporting Susan Collins for Senate. I'm a Republican, but I'm very independent, just like Susan Collins. Susan is smart, effective, and always puts Maine first. There's a reason why Democrat and Republican governors and senators are supporting Susan Collins. It's because she believes in doing what's right for Maine. You don't get many like Susan Collins, and when you do, you keep them. I hope you re-elect her. I urge you to re-elect Susan Collins. As governor of Massachusetts, I work with both parties to get things done. Susan Collins does that in the Senate. She's pro-environment, pro-women, pro-Maine. We need more leaders like Susan. I hope you re-elect her. So yeah, this is what got people talking, and uh, the guy who tweeted out both of these clips apparently thinks that Boston TV is bad for, for ad covering Governor Charlie Baker. Um, no, I don't think WBZ-TV Boston is bad at covering Governor Charlie Baker. So you can just leave WBZ out of this because they are pretty good at covering anybody. Governor Charlie Baker is writing to the defense of Senator Susan Collins in her heated re-election fight, appearing in a series of ads that tried to bolster the main Republicans' moderate bipartisan image. Make rolled by the super hack arm of the Republican Jewish Coalition, a national group that is also backing President Trump's re-election. The 450,000 ad campaign Features digital spots with Baker, former Senator Joe Lieberman, and Maryland Governor Larry Hogan, who, like his Massachusetts counterparts, is a popular blue state Republican, often at odds with the National Republican Party. Whether the out of state support will resonate favorably with Mainers is unclear, but for Baker, who has routinely avoided angling in national politics. The development immediately drew a rebuke from Massachusetts uh, Democrats eager to see Collins' seat flipped. 